as of 2022, the market value of traditional Chinese medicine stands at approximately 28 billion US dollars, but it is estimated to increase in about a decade to approximately 50 billion US dollars. We have identified 62 financial firms investing in three of the most significant companies that produce traditional Chinese medicine products using endangered species that EIA campaigns on. Traditional Chinese medicine is a practice that dates back about 3,000 years and it uses a vast variety of herbs as well as animal parts. Bangalun and leopard. We also found that there are products, licensed products, which contain tiger and rhino as well. Tiger bone is used to dispel wind as well as to reduce pain, such as pain in joints and bones. Pangolin scales have been used to stimulate lactation in breastfeeding mothers as well as to treat arthritis and also to promote blood circulation. Leopard is actually used as a substitute for tiger bone, so it has similar properties. Rhino horn is considered to have a cooling effect on the body which can help with subduing fevers for example. CITES is the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species of Wild Fauna and Flora. It's an international convention that regulates international trade in the species that are listed on its appendices. If a species is listed on Appendix 1 of CITES, then in simple terms, uh, primarily commercial trade in these species is prohibited, and their parts and derivatives as well. Leopards and pangolins and tigers and rhinos are all listed on Appendix 1 of CITES, and CITES has recommended that countries prohibit internal trade as well in these species and their parts and derivatives. What's ironic is that the Chinese National Medical Products Administration is actually licensing these medicines while they are under international commercial ban. So these wildlife parts are sourced from all over the world, depending on where the species are. For example, with pangolins, they are poached and trafficked from Western Central Africa and they make their way through Southeast Asia and eventually into China. This is a large domestic market and it is, in our opinion, fueling the poaching and trade of these species. And, and therefore, as per CITES recommendations, these domestic markets should be closed. At the Standing Committee in March 2022, EIA raised the point that we were concerned about domestic trade in tigers being potentially legalized on the basis of the 2018 State Council order that was there. China should commit to closing its domestic market for Asian big cats, including licensed trade in leopard bone medicine. I see China would like to make an additional intervention, so China, please, you have the floor. Thank you, Chair. I see that the representative of this organization hasn't heard what I've said, so I would like to repeat. We are very much opposed to unfounded accusations uh, that may be made on China. China has banned international and national trade of tiger and we apply a zero tolerance policy on the illegal trade of specimens of Asian big cats and their products. And nonetheless, we found three licensed TCM products uh, which are on manufacturers' websites and state that they contain tiger. So what you have is a situation where despite an international commercial trade ban for these species, despite recommendations that these species should not be traded domestically where the markets are contributing to poaching and trade, you have the continued authorization and licensing of TCM products containing these species uh, and which are being sold uh, and this is definitely contributing in our opinion towards poaching and trade of these species and driving them towards extinction.
EIA, we would recommend for the Chinese government to actually implement better protection laws for these wildlife. That includes implementing CITES recommendations. EIA is calling for the government of China to close its domestic markets for leopards and pangolins and tigers and rhinos. And the real world impact of not doing this is that we live in a world in the future with no pangolins, potentially no leopards, potentially no other endangered species that are also affected by this trade.